Hi, my name is Vincent Simone and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to bulletproof your forehand return of serve. Let's begin. So to get this out of the way, the last thing that you want to do on your forehand return of serve is treat it like a ground stroke. A lot of people will take their racket all the way back to Alaska and not even give it a second thought and wonder why they slam the ball into the bottom of the net. And they'll even say to themselves, I can't believe it. You know, what do you mean you can't believe it? You've been doing it your whole life and you're going to keep doing it unless you do what I'm about to show you. First of all, we need to adapt a no backswing, backswing. What I mean is keeping the racket aligned with our belly button and making a unit turn. It's going to be a half setup, but it's going to be a full swing. Okay, a lot of people, even if they get the first part down pat, okay, I got to shorten the backswing, they'll then go and block the ball. You don't want to do that either, okay? It's a half setup with the full swing. So when we make our unit turn, we want to make sure that our elbows are up and out and away from our body, right? We could shoot a basketball, a volleyball, a soccer ball inside of this space. We're going to maintain this space and we're going to pivot and try and square up our strings to the ball, okay? Once the ball is in our hitting zone and we've shifted to the outside leg, and we're delaying the step by dragging the opposite foot, we're then going to make it so that we have an abbreviated racket drop, okay? We're gonna remain at the height of the ball like this, and we need to have our racket slightly hooded so we still get top spin. You don't wanna set up like this, okay? You need to have the racket face slightly closed or else you won't get any top spin. Now, from here, we're gonna start the swing instead of on a normal ground stroke where we would turn our shoulders past our hips to get that extra power, okay? Because we have the time. But here, there's no time, okay? Time is running out, all right? Turn, shift to the outside leg, delay the step by dragging this toe. We've got our racket face slightly hooded and we're starting the swing from halfway. We're gonna have an abbreviated racket drop and we're gonna go boom, slightly under the height of the ball, and then we're gonna swing inside to outside, okay? Now, as you do this, watch my feet. We wanna treat it like the first volley where we actually almost hit while we're in the air, okay? And we go and we jump, we push off this leg with our half set up and we do a full swing and we land on the left foot, okay? And that's how you're gonna perfect your return, okay? Wanna make sure we swing inside to outside, okay? You're gonna have the string slightly closed. You're gonna let go with the non-hitting hand. You're gonna pat the dog. You're gonna push off with your leg and throw your shoulders, your chest, and your hips to your target while you pull in the non-dominant arm. You're gonna have the racket very loose, okay? There's no tension in our arm. It's gonna come through as the last part after we push off with our legs, boom and then the racket's gonna come through, okay? And make sure that you cover the top of the ball with a windshield wiper, or else you're gonna send the return with absolutely no top spin or control. So at contact point, just so you know, the wrist is back, and after the ball leaves your strings, you need to relax the wrist and cover the top of the ball with a windshield wiper. Okay, I recommend going hand to hand because it forces you to finish at or below your shoulder I don't recommend swinging super high up to the sky. That's not how we hit a forehand in modern tennis, okay? Set up at the height of the ball, swing through at the height of the ball. Hit your returns down the middle, go for the big margins, okay? You're just trying to neutralize. And using these tips, you should have a much better forehand return of serve. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. Tennis Doctor is a self-help tennis book for adults. You could have 40 inch biceps, rapid anticipation, fancy feet, and a brilliant mind, but if you have poor swing mechanics, you will never win. On the contrary, you could have slow reactions, terrible footwork, and be 40 pounds overweight, yet still produce a perfect shot if you can perfect your swing. By reading Tennis Doctor, you own the secret to a perfect swing, and if we have to, we'll call you an Uber to get you to the ball in time.